another making do video I had originally thought that I would just do them on Mondays you know make do Monday but I decided they're going to be random whenever I feel like it <laughs> um, whenever I'm making do with something I was planning my layout uh, for my November pages for my books and I wanted a zigzag stitch and I'm sure everyone has seen these basil basics um, in stitches templates where there's holes in them and they create whatever shape it is that you're looking at so for example this one I call a heartbeat one okay um, but I was looking for a zigzag one um, and and I and I didn't have one and I didn't have any friends that had one and I really didn't feel like buying one so what I did was I took let's, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this I took shrink wrap fill uh, you know the shrink um, like shrinky dinks those sheets and I cut them into strips um, one and a half inch strips and then what I did was I measured every the one that I ended up doing that I like the most is this one and it looks like I did it every quarter of an inch so all I did was line it up and I'm lining it up on my mat because you know there's there's already um, measurements there and then I just put a dot every quarter of an inch okay and then I took And then I took an old mouse pad or whatever foam, foamy, you know, thing that you have. Um, I also, let's see, I should do this correctly. Once I got done putting um, all the dots all the way across, then I offset it. So I moved the dots halfway between, halfway between um, the dots on the, on the grid. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see. I need a footstool. Okay. So what I did was I dotted all the way across. And then once I was done with that, I kind of moved it at an angle. So that I had dots in between the dots. And you can make the spacing as, as far away or as close as you want. For this one, I'll just show you. And then, let's see. Yep, right here. Let's do that. And then I made more dots every quarter of an inch so that it would go zigzag like this. And then I took just an old mouse pad, and all I did was poke. poke holes and it leaves a little little bit on the back you can also use I also um, let's say actually with mine I used one of these very small hole punches um, looks like a Fiskars one this one is 150 years old and if you just center that dot it'll leave a bigger hole and then you could just, all I did was take a tweezers. So then what I did was I took a tweezers and can you see that? There's a little piece left over. I just took, if I can grab them, took my tweezers and just kind of twisted it off. So then it leaves a nice hole. And when you're done, you just kind of make lines so that you can see where they are and that's what I did to make my own in stitches templates um, I just punched holes in shrinky dink paper shrinky dink film and now I'll use this um, I just punched a hole in it you can't see that <laughs> maybe you can see that I just punched a hole in the corner and I hang it with the other ones that I have. And I made different sizes, different widths, different heights. 
and I'll add that as, as well. So look, look at what you already have at home and make do, make do with what you have. I, I, I think these are like five dollars and I would have had to order it because I can't find them anywhere and I didn't want to wait that long so I just made my own. So that's the make do for today. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.